Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper, and today I'm going to teach you all about blankets that sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Blankets are something that are everywhere. They're at thrift stores, they're at garage sales, they're at estate sales, they're in your house. They are everywhere. And you need to know which ones sell for big money because you very well could be passing these up every time you go out sourcing. And I don't want you to do that. So I am going to teach you about some names as well as some handmade ones that can sell for really, really big money. They are going to start at about the $400 mark and go up over a thousand dollars for a single blanket. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to tell you a lot of these names most people know. So a lot of times they aren't going to be cheap, but they are worth paying up for. And if you find them, grab them, <laughs> grab them. Make sure you look up the pattern with a lot of these names because they can vary by hundreds and hundreds of dollars depending on the pattern. So plain ones might only be worth a hundred or so where certain patterns sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So make sure you find the exact pattern, not just that maker and watch the patterns on the handmade ones as well. And I hope this helps. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this first one is just a tapestry throw. I have found Disney tapestry throws. I've not been lucky enough to find this one. And it looks like this one sold. There is another one listed that is listed a little higher than this $400. So this is a vintage haunted mansion woven blanket. It does say it is an exclusive to Disneyland. Sold for $3.99. They just have two pictures here. Again, I did look this up to make sure it wasn't a fluke. There is one other listed for sale at like $430. So if you happen to come across this one, definitely pick it up. But watch those Disney throws because a lot of them are worth more than that $50 point. Up next is a really, really cool vintage ski country wool throw blanket. It is a patchwork one. I'm not sure if this was handmade or if that is just how it came, but this one sold for a best offer on $400. And here you can see the different pictures. It looks like it was like handmade with different sweaters or scarves. Pretty, pretty cool blanket. Skiing is something that sells. I will tell you, I've sold some Aspen hoodies. And this is a Ski Country Colorado Knitting Mills. It is 100% virgin wool. So this was made by a company. So watch for that tag. And this one was a great, great sale at $400. Check out this blanket. This is a vintage 70s velvet patchwork hippie boho quilt bedspread blanket is 104 inches by 114. So it is going to cover a king size bed. This one sold for $399. Here you can see this is a really, really cool kind of velvet and it is lying there on the back, but this one is a handmade one. So watch for that kind of boho hippie stuff. It definitely sells. And this one was a great sale at $400. All right. As I'm showing you this one, I do want to caution you because most of these sell for under $100. But this one is absolutely gorgeous. It is granny square flowers, that white background beautiful multiple colors. It is 75 by 95. You can see it's a perfect throw over a couch. The seller did a great job photographing it. This one sold for $399. Again, I do not expect most of them to sell for this. This is just a very beautiful, beautiful pattern. They did excellent work photographing this, showing it in different ways that it can be used. They've got it on the couch. They're showing it on a bed. And this one was a great, great sale, $400 for this throw blanket. 
but again, be very, very careful because most of them are not going to sell this high. Next is this Mazzoni Home Zigzag Woven 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 Wool Cashmere Fringe Edge Throw. It was originally eight hundred and fifteen dollars, so these are expensive in the first place. This one sold for a best offer on three hundred and ninety nine dollars. That's not to say this stuff doesn't get sold at estate sales and get brought to thrift stores. So here you can see those Mazzoni tags. This one is actually new with the tags. And it does have the original box. Beautiful zigzag pattern on this one. Great sale. Mazzoni Home is definitely a name you want to know. This one caught me off guard a little bit. This is a Stussy Blanket 8-Ball Billiards Tapestry. They did put collector's item. This is one I feel you could find at the thrift store for 5 bucks. So this one sold for $450. And you can see the Stussy here up in that top left corner. And this one is just a tapestry throw blanket. There are the fringed edges. They do have the original packaging, though, on this one. You can see there. And it does have that original tag, but this one was a great, great sale at $450. Most of these that I'm going to show you from here on are going to be more higher dollar expensive brands. I do not expect you will find them for cheap, but they definitely are out there. And I want you to be aware and make sure you're checking those blankets. This is a new inbox Etro Italian cashmere throw blanket. So if you're looking at throw blankets, you see cashmere, you see wool, pay attention. This one sold for a best offer on $500. Here you can see the gorgeous Etro Paisley box and the paper. There is that Etro tag that you need to know what it looks like. And this one is brand new. It, you can see it originally was $1,000. They got it on clearance. I'm not sure how much they paid for it. Maybe they got a really good deal, but great, great sale. Best offer on $500. This one is Early's Whitney Point, England. It is a wool blanket, red with black stripes. It does say five points. This one sold for $438.11. Here you can see those tags up close. It does say pure new wool made in England. It is Northwest Traders. And you can see the Early's Whitney Point on there as well. There are those five stripes that they are referring to. And this one was a great, great sale. Check those wool blankets because a lot of them are very valuable. Up next, and I have shown Ralph Lauren before, it always kind of catches me off guard, but make sure you are watching for Ralph Lauren. This is a new Ralph Lauren full queen Grosvenor square blanket. It is wool, new in the package, sold for $599.95. Here you can see they are simply taking a picture of the packaging as well as the blanket out of it. I feel like you could find these at some estate sales, guys. Definitely keep an eye out for these while you're out thrifting as well. And this one was a great sale at almost $600. Next is a Beacon Mills camp blanket. It does say Ombre Native American Design. This one sold for a best offer on $675. It does say excellent unused condition, but a couple of small faint spots, but no wear. Here you can see it is in great, great condition and beautiful, beautiful pattern on this one. So watch out for Beacon Mills, especially if they are that Southwestern Native American pattern. This is a very, very classic Hudson Bay blanket. It is eight point wool. This one also has the stripes on it. And I will show you this tag as well. There are quite a few of these out there. There were quite a few in the sold. This one sold for $799. Here you can see that tag, Hudson Bay point blanket, 100% wool made in England. 
check the blankets, guys. They are out there. You might have to pay up, but this is a $799 sale. All right. You're probably not going to find a Christian Dior cheap, but you might be, if you paid 200 bucks for this, sold it for 850, I think you'd still be making a pretty good darn profit. This is a Christian Dior macro canage cashmere blanket, navy and white. It is 55 inches. It is not that big. They accepted a best offer on $850. You can see here the Christian Dior Paris tag. It was made in Italy. There is what the whole blanket looks like. And this was a great, great sale. Again, you're not going to find these cheap most likely, but they are worth paying up for. This is a name that I was not familiar with. This is a Swan's Island, Maine, indigo blue wool, hand-woven, hand-dyed, king-size blanket. So it is a big blanket. It sold for $850. Now, here you can see it on the bed. And I do want to show you this tag. Watch out for this and watch out for wool. So this one does say 100% virgin wool, Swan's Island blanket. Not, again, a name I have never heard of, but an $850 sale. All right, Pendleton dominates the high dollar blanket sales. This is a vintage Pendleton roundup blanket. It says letter buck from 2007. So it actually is not vintage because vintage is 2004 and older now, which is kind of scary. So this one was an auction. It sold for $876. And we will take a look and see what that bidding was started at. But first, we'll take a look at these photos. So here you can see that letter buck 2007 Grand Marshall. The Pendleton tag, definitely one you want to be on the lookout for. Here it is still brand new with the tags. There is the back. So let's take a look at this auction. It did sell for $876.66. It got 27 bids. And it was started at $125. So that's a pretty decent jump from $125 up to $876. If you have a Pendleton blanket and you're not finding the design and the solds to know where to price it at, I definitely would consider doing an auction. And to prove my point a little more, here's another Pendleton that was sold on auction. This says Rare Antique Pendleton Beaver State Southwestern Indian Blanket Whirling Log. This one was an auction, got 30 bids, sold for $1,025. And here you can see the designs here. Those are the Whirling Logs. And beautiful, beautiful Pendleton blanket. It does look like it has a little bit of wear to some of the edges. Look at that. That Pendleton tag is tore up. So this is an older one, and it still sold for $1,025. So don't think just because they're damaged, they won't sell. So it sold for $1,025. We will take a look here and see. They got 30 bids, and this one was started at $101.72. I'm not quite sure they're thinking behind that, but an amazing, amazing sale at $1,025. All right, we took quite a big jump here, and I want to make sure you guys see these because if there are expensive brands like Rolex, obviously, is a watch. If you see Mercedes, if you see Porsche, even if it's on clothing, bags, blankets, things like that, pay attention. This is a Rolex blanket, new in box. It is Watch of Wonders, 100% wool. This blanket sold for $1,799. So let's take a look here. And this is that seller's name. That's why they have that there. They don't want somebody to kidnap their photos. But it is in the original box. It's a beautiful white and yellow blanket. You can see the Rolex tag there on the bottom. And this was 
a great, great sale at $1,799. Again, some of these items, even if you find them for a few hundred dollars, are worth paying up for. Next is an Hermes. This is an Hermes Paris blanket, Avalon Epoppy throw, merino wool and cashmere. It is new in the box. So they actually still have one left, but they sold one at $2,000. And here you can see that Hermes tag made in Great Britain. It does have the original tag. They are brand new beautiful, beautiful Hermes blanket and amazing, amazing sale. $2,000 for this. So again, be willing to pay up for some of these and you could possibly make big, big profits. Up next is a Loro Piana and Co. 100% cashmere and lambskin suede oatmeal top blanket. Taupe, taupe. This one sold for a best offer on $1,950. Here you can see that Loro Piano tag, 100% cashmere made in Italy. This is a beautiful, beautiful blanket. And these blankets, you can feel the quality. You can see it. So definitely check the blanket section. And Loro Piano is another name you definitely need to look out for. Up next is another name I was not familiar with. This is the Elder Statesman Stripe Super Soft Blanket in Blue Jay and Emerald. This one sold for a best offer on $2,799. And here you can see the stripe and the blanket. It does have that original tag. Here is that actual tag, the Elder Statesman. This is 100% cashmere blanket made in the USA. I've never heard of this name, so definitely make sure to remember the Elder Statesman. Beautiful, beautiful cashmere blanket. An amazing sale, over $2,000. All right, this is going to be our final one. This a vintage Vacuna fur blanket sold for $3,000 for one blanket. Vacuna fur is very, very rare. That is why it does sell for so much. But I wanted to make sure that I showed this to you guys so that you know. You can see this one has a satin backing. Beautiful, beautiful fur blanket. And amazing, amazing sale at $3,000. All right, that was everything. I hope you enjoyed. I hope there were at least a few names that you weren't familiar with. If you're not looking at blankets, look at them, especially the throws, because as you saw, some of those small throw blankets can be very valuable. Definitely watch out for wool and cashmere, made in Italy. And of course, the names that I'm sure you know, those high designer names, Pendleton is the top selling of the high dollar blankets. So make sure you keep an eye out. Let me know what your favorite blanket was or what name was new to you. If you know other names, please drop them down in the comments for myself and everybody else to learn from. I appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one.